The words queuing and Singapore go hand in hand, just like the words peanut butter and jelly, or Batman and Robin, or the Dalai Lama and children. And the new hype that's causing Singaporeans to queue for hours on end comes in the form of another gimmicky product by yet another fast food chain. This time it's Texas Chicken, and they recently released a free chicken bag that you can receive if you order one of their combo meals for around $13. Now this is nothing special, fast food chains have been doing this for years, and they know, they just know that us Singaporeans, we fall for this shit easily. Easily. We're like cats to catnip. Singaporeans, free merchandise from fast food chains. That is us. That is our identity. We are fucking suckers for shit like that. Remember when McDonald's released this pajama set? I mean, it sent the entire city state into a complete frenzy. Everyone became primal and, and started eating dirt and started snatching for these pajamas. It was a fucking nightmare. People wanted to get their hands on these pajamas like their lives depended on it. But I ask you now, people who got this pajama set, where are your pajama sets now? Where are they now? I am asking you that. Where where are they now? In your storeroom? Collecting dust? Is it in the trash? I bet it's in the trash. Where is it now? So recently a TikTok video went viral of this whole Texas chicken situation and even a staff of Texas chicken was seen crying because of the overwhelming demand of this free chicken bag. This is the free chicken bag that you would receive if you got one of their combo meals. <laughs> I'm at Texas Chicken and there's no more chicken bag. Some people actually queue up to four to five hours only to find out that there's no more bag. But you can still buy the deal for the 50% off. The but you can still buy the deal. You can still buy the deal for the 50% off. <laughs> I like how this guy just inserted the stuff crying and then he goes on to promote the whole Texas chicken deal. Kinda weird. As you can see, there is a staff member here crying. Allegedly because one of the uncles actually nagged at her, demanding that he get a chicken bag. It says here, two aunties told the staff member that they were waiting in line for five hours. She was still calm and composed at that time, referring to the staff member. The staff member then burst into tears and ran outside after an uncle nagged at her to honor the redemption by taking taking down the names and phone numbers of those who were in queue. I mean imagine, imagine getting so worked up and angry over a free chicken bag by a fast food chain. And this fella is an uncle at that. What, 50, 60 years old? This guy is an uncle. What does he want to do with the fucking bag? Why is he so adamant on receiving the bag? Do uncles and aunties have a secret telegram group where they sell fast food merchandise on the black market? Like what is going on? Why are uncles and aunties so adamant on having merchandise like this what do they what are they gonna do with it <laughs> why am i not surprised that it is uncles and aunties like these boomers you know trying to get a free item i mean technically it's not free right you gotta pay 13 dollars 90 cents you have to buy the combo meal in order to receive the free chicken bag which i am pretty sure that you can get it on aliexpress for less than 10 dollars imagine queuing five hours for something that's worth less than 10 dollars is your time that worthless in fact let me go and check aliexpress let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's see if we can find that chicken bag. Texas chicken. There we go. Found it. I found it within 10 seconds. This one costs $5.28. Over 200 orders. 4.9 stars review. 31 reviews. I think it's pretty safe to say that this is quite a trusted seller. You could probably get it. Of course, it'll take a while. You won't get it instantly like you would at Texas Chicken. But it saves you 5 hours of queuing. And it's half the price. $5 for the chicken bag. And it looks almost identical. There we go. In fact, it looks like the same model. Maybe Texas Chicken got it from AliExpress. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised, right? Right? <laughs> Looks like the same model wearing it. Yeah, there we go. $5. Found it within 10 seconds. Yeah, I honestly don't get the whole queuing thing in Singapore. I personally detest queuing for anything. I don't even queue for food. The most I would queue for food is maybe four customers in front of me, maybe five. That's the max I would queue for anything, including food. Like, I just hate queuing. If a restaurant that I want to eat at has a long queue, I would just go to the restaurant beside it. I would just go to the next restaurant. Maybe I'm just not a foodie like that. But yeah, 
I, I don't queue for anything, not even food, much less for a gimmicky product that's worth $5. Yeah, for some reason, us Singaporeans just love queuing up for gimmicky products like this, right? Like, why? I really don't get it. Like, what's so good about this fucking chicken bag? Does it shit out infinite fried chickens for you? In fact, nothing good can even come out of it if you show this bag to people. If you take it along on your Tinder date and you show it off to your date, your date would probably spit in your face and laugh in your face, calling you a loser. What, you want to show it off to your boss? Your boss will fire you on the spot for being an incompetent employee queuing up for five hours for a useless product. You want to show it off to your mom? Your mom will disown you for bringing shame to the family's name. Nothing good will come out of this. I think we have this culture of always wanting to be in trend, right? Always wanting to be first, wanting to impress and show off. Like, oh, look, look, I got the new chicken bag. I got the new hype chicken bag that's going to be hype for two weeks. And everybody will completely forget about it in two weeks. And it clearly shows in our actions, such as this absurdity and willingness to queue for five hours for something that's worth less than $5. This need of wanting to impress is evident here. Yeah, like I said, it's a time that worthless. Like queuing up for five hours for something that costs five dollars. So that's a dollar for every hour you spend queuing. Like I'd rather watch the Star Awards ceremony twice in a row than to queue up for this thing. <laughs> And I guarantee you that every single one of these people who manage to get a chicken bag will either A. Sell it on carousel at a 10x increase in price or they would wear it twice and then chuck it in the storeroom till New Year's spring cleaning comes around and then throw it away. This is another TikTok that was filmed at another Texas chicken chain. Two for Texas chicken bag. Get this cute and fluffy chicken bag. All gone before 11am. Extremely long queue here to get this bag as we witness in this TikTok. I just want to go through the crowd and actually see what kind of people actually queues for this bag. Who are the individuals queuing for this bag? We have a hype beast boy over here with a beanie. Young people, middle-aged people, some aunties, uncles. Oh, we got a proud parent who just got the chicken bag for his little boy. Must be feeling real proud. Or oh, is that a daughter? Maybe a daughter. Oh, we have an auntie over here. Probably a spy for the community of elderly scalpers. Probably a scout looking at the whole queuing situation and then reporting back to a HQ. I'm surprised there are actually quite a lot of young people in the queue. We have a family over here. I don't get it. I really don't. And going back to the staff member that was seen crying, uh, guys, please back off from our service crew, service staff. They already have a very tough day. They don't deserve to have your anger being thrown in their faces. All because you didn't manage to get a free chicken bag. Just think about it. That's just such a ridiculous scenario. Is this the uncle that nagged at her? Oh, now he's sorry. I bet he's feeling real stupid right now. Okay, if this isn't the uncle that nagged at her, I apologize for roasting you. If you are just a good Samaritan, bravo. Good job. Good job, uncle. But yeah, please treat your service crew and service staff with respect. They're just trying to do a job. They're just doing their jobs, okay? They are like you and me. They are people too. They're just doing their fucking jobs, okay? And you, on the other hand, you're just queuing up for a goddamn free chicken bag, okay? They've busted their ass the whole day and you were just standing in line using your phone, probably scrolling through TikTok, looking at all the other friends who got that stupid chicken bag. You were just simply standing in line while they had to go through a rough day of serving angry customers. Yeah, I think this is such a ridiculous scenario, but I don't think it will ever stop. For some reason, we're just very drawn to these free merchandise. I think brands and companies will still continue to release merchandise and Singaporeans will still gobble that shit up. I don't see an end to this and that's just the state that we live in right now. 